What is third spacing of fluid? Have you ever wondered what happens to fluids in our bodies when things go wrong? Third spacing of fluids is a term that describes the movement of bodily fluids from the blood vessels into areas where they are not functional, like the spaces between cells or into body cavities, such as the pleural or peritoneal cavity. This shift can lead to a decrease in the volume of blood in the vessels, resulting in a condition known as hypovolemia. Hypovolemia occurs when there is insufficient blood volume to maintain adequate blood flow to vital organs. To understand this better, let's look at the fluid compartments in the human body. We have three main compartments, the intravascular space, which is inside the blood vessels, the interstitial space, which is between cells, and the intracellular space, which is inside the cells. In a healthy state, fluids move freely between these compartments, helping to maintain balance. However, when third spacing occurs, fluids accumulate abnormally in areas that do not contribute to circulation. There are several reasons why third spacing can happen. Severe burns can cause fluids to pool at the burn site, leading to a drop in intravascular volume. Conditions like pancreatitis can result in fluid accumulation in the peritoneal cavity. Sepsis, a severe infection, increases capillary permeability, allowing fluids to leak into interstitial spaces. Major surgeries can also lead to fluid shifts, as can heart failure and liver failure, where low albumin levels cause fluid to escape from blood vessels. Recognizing the symptoms of third spacing is essential. Patients may experience swelling, decreased urine output, low blood pressure, increased heart rate, and changes in mental status. Diagnosing this condition involves monitoring vital signs and looking for signs of either fluid overload or depletion. When it comes to treatment, the focus is on addressing the underlying cause rather than just replenishing fluids. This might include fluid resuscitation, administering medications like diuretics, and managing the specific condition causing the fluid shift. In critical cases, interventions such as mechanical ventilation or dialysis may be necessary. For first responders, understanding third spacing is crucial for effective fluid management in emergencies. It is important to recognize the signs of fluid maldistribution. Patients may appear overhydrated due to swelling but could actually be hypovolemic. Proper assessment and timely intervention can significantly improve patient outcomes by ensuring adequate circulation and preventing organ dysfunction. Always remember, if you have concerns about fluid management or related symptoms, consulting a healthcare professional is the best course of action.